please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Nine movie thoughts. I really love how much our perception of weakness changes throughout. I just realized I completely... I called him Mikus in the review. Me and names, people. Me and names. I love how much our perception of Wiccas changes over the course of the film. I mean, at first we're just like, who is this arrogant bastard, this just goofy, ineffectual bureaucrat? And you're kind of you're kind of laughing at him, you know, when he goes up to the soldiers, like, do you really need that much ammo? Could, couldn't we be a little more effective? And you, you maybe don't completely realize at that time it, you realize at the party when his father-in-law, you know, says, let's, let's just talk, under, you know, just, you and me, way too many people, you know, way too many of those aliens died, and just, before you even have a chance to think, aw, you actually do care, nope, he, he just continues saying, the, you know, the, the, the chief is up my ass on this one, you know, they, they're, they're, um, there's this, UFO watchers, yeah, there's there's this group that's like badgering him about that, that the, the, the so many aliens died, you know, excessive force, all that. And that was why Wickes was trying to get them to not bring so many clips. And the soldier's like staring at him in disbelief, and he's like, so talk to the Major. The major, he thinks that we were bringing too much ammunition. And ah, oh, you, you think so? And then it, it smash cuts, and then he's like pushing, him, like turn that camera off, and the, the yeah, the whole thing, you know, just and it does a really great job of establishing both Kubus, you know, King King Kubus there, and the I'm sorry, I'm I swear that's that's it's probably a completely normal name down there. I I shouldn't make fun. And um, Wiccas, you know, you, you very much see what they're like, and that's of course just the start of their, you know, as far as we see in the film, they've probably met before in class before, but that's, the, that's where the film establishes that the two of them are not on good terms with one another. And, uh, yeah, to, to get back to, to Wiccas specifically, when you see him with with the creatures and he's like just being this complete jerk towards them you know lying to them and tricking them and be like oh well if you don't live here then i'll have to give this cat food someone's oh you do live here okay here you go just sign the paper and then he he kills those little eggs and he's like yep oh, yep this is a yep oh there yeah, now he's dead and and he hands it, ah, it's from your first abortion, and you can pretend you did it, and then it says, ah, it's, it takes too long to pick for it. There are so many eggs in there. No. Flamethrower, and just, you're just like, you're horrified. This guy is a monster. And then when he, you know, sprays himself, and he gradually becomes, you know, you, you start to feel some sympathy for him some. When, when like, his nails are coming off. Thank you very much, David Cronenberg. Just, yeah, and the, the the whole thing, and then when he's being experimented on, you can't help but feel bad for him. And at the same time, it's this clever turning of the tables. He's suddenly what he hated, and that's a lot of his character for the rest of the film is him dealing with slowly turning into what he thought of as inferior. It's a really clever idea, and 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 that's also why, it, you know, why why I'd say this is in homage to the fly and not a ripoff because the fly is not about that. It's 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 about him becoming something other than human. This is not really, you know, the, the, there's really no good evidence that the. Alien 
aliens, I'm not going to be calling them prawns, I, I'm sorry. It, the aliens, they're not necessarily like stupid or, yeah, they just, they, they were malnourished, you know, they were messed up. It's, it's like if we found a, you know, an old slave ship or something, and yeah, of course they're not going to be completely, they were, you know, we don't know exactly what they did, but they might have been like lower grade, like slaves, I'm sorry, just, man, that is just, gotta stop doing coke, I swear. Anyway, yeah, they just, you, you can't really, yeah, you, you can't necessarily mistreat, you, you can't mistreat them just because of that. And, yeah, he's, he's dealing with becoming this other thing that he thinks of as lower, but, you know, the, the fly is something completely different. He's not becoming a part of some other society, he's, he's the only one who is like this. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I just, I, I love how it... Yeah, follows his, and, and at times you can kind of understand, because we, we can put ourselves in that position, you know, you know, we have groups that we would not like to become part of, you know, whether we hate them for good or bad reasons, we don't want to deal with them, we don't want to be part of them, you know, he chops off the finger, to become more like a human, to, to get rid of the part of himself that is becoming less like a human being. Man. And, yeah, just... The... And, and let's see, what is the next stage of his character? I suppose... The... He actually, he becomes downright likable when he's helping out Christopher Johnson. He's, yes, it's for selfish reasons. He wants to be turned back into a human being again, but he is still helping him. And then we, you know, we kind of start hating him when he knocks out Christopher Johnson and the whole thing. And then, you know, and he becomes this wimp or running off in a mech suit. He's got all this weaponry and he still runs off. And as, you know, Koopas knew that he would do that. And then he comes back and he just kills the crap out of them. And it's so satisfying. As I talked about in the main review, it earns its cheers. Because finally, Wickus is, is taking charge. He's saying, I will not stand for this. This is what we wanted him to do at the start of the film. It was a good thing to be taking ammo away from these gun nuts. You know, they just want to kill as many aliens as they can. And finally, he's stopping them from killing. And he's he's giving them what they deserve. He's killing them back for having killed all these aliens. And he actually, you know, he doesn't quite make it. And he he's, even says, you go to Christopher. I'll hold them off. I'll, I'll delay them. You know, and he just takes them out. And yeah... And the, the part that got me to, like, just, yeah, when he's, like, I think he's uh, practically keeled over at this point in, in the mech suit. And, like, the, the Koopas is, like, an RPG, and he shoots, and we can see he's aiming straight at the plane. And we, we're just, like, it's not gonna, if, if he shoots it down now, they're gonna be dead. It is not gonna be able to handle being shot down again. And he shoots, and we're like, no, and then catch, the, the mech suit catches it with that magnetic thing. I'm, I'm presuming that's what he did with all the bullets from the, the Nigerian gang as well. You know, which is also awesome when he just, they, and they just keep shooting, and they just empty their guns, and they're like, click, click. And then he just, is the only shot. That's the one of the most awesome things I've ever seen in any film or show or anything. Man, that was awesome. And yeah, and he just catches the... And it just, you know, like, it explodes there. And just, yes, that's awesome. And yeah, it's... And, and then I love the... I also love how he kind of 
he, he takes the arm away from that other guy, you know, the, you know, I take away his weapons. He, yeah, he, he takes away that guy's arm. I think he shoots it off or something. And the guy's lying there and he's looking and we see the, the cut off arm and we see the arm lying over there. And then he jumps and he lands, he steps around and crushes it underfoot. And the guy's just lying there looking at his arm being crushed. That's awesome. And Koopas' death. When he just goes over, you know, just, I'm gonna shoot. Ah, I love killing prawns. And then we see one of the aliens come in from behind, and then more and more come in. And they, they know who he is, they know what he's done. He's probably infamous for them, you know, the, the whole... Crap, can I spoil that? I guess I won't spoil that. And it's another movie, so yeah. He is their big fear. He is like, Blade to the, is to the vampires. That reference I can use without spoiling anything. And he just, he starts shooting a couple of them, and yeah, the slide goes back. Yep. Yeah. And there, there are too many of them, and they just tear his freaking arms off and just destroy him, and it's just perfect because it's what has been done to them. It's what he's been part of. He's killed so many of them. He's enjoyed it, and they're just getting back at him. And that's one of the times, it is, it's a horrifying sight, really, but we can understand it. And it's, it's sort of, yeah, this revenge kind of thing, you know. Now, I, oh, and, and the last bit with, with Wick is where it gets back to, that's also part of what keeps us from completely hating him, I'd say. The, the relationship between him and his wife is just so devastating. I think it's... It's partially effective because we see her so little. We just get a quick... It's, it's a quick and effective setup of how much he loves her there at first. With him. Oh, he made me this thing and then I slowly sat on it and broke it and, you know, all this stuff. And just... And, and then when, when she calls and the first time she's like, I, I have to tell you, you know, we, we can't... I don't want you to hold me. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm just... Man, that is just awful and yeah and then the second time she calls and she's she's changed her mind because she does still love him and the whole thing and yeah and and then the very end with you know she she takes out I, I, I found this on my doorstep and my my friends say it can't be him and he's you know he wouldn't have made this else and they're, they're probably right and then we see him making it out of the thing, because it's the thing of, the, the aliens were always making things out of junk they found, scrap metal, and Wickes was already making things to show her, you know, it, it means more that way, I made it for you, it's unique, it's special, it's not just something store-bought, a philosophy I, myself, very much, you know, I very much agree with, and, yeah, the, you know, and, and yeah, you, you see him sitting there making it, and then it, it ends. It's just really effective, and I think part of it is also that we don't see her, once once he, like, leaves, once he runs away, I think, yeah, we see her when the father, man, what a bastard, aw, oh, you, you know Wickes, he's not really that strong, and then it's contrast with him breaking out of bed, you're, throwing the nurse away and taking the human shield of one of the doctors and it makes sense that they're not gonna you know they need the doctor he's like he's got a you know big important education he's yeah he's he's important they need him to figure out you know the whole thing with the alien weaponry and everything so yeah thus he gets out and I think also the place he gets out is the place they also break back in which is why he knew where to go for getting back in makes good sense. And then the alien weaponry doesn't exactly hurt. And the and, and, and it's good that both he and Christopher Johnson have been playing like, you know, Call of Duty non-stop because they've, they've got the squad tact pretty much down. Although, man, Christopher Johnson really gets easily distracted, so yeah, I'm not sure I want him on my team. Anyway, yeah, he... Wick is, 
Yeah, yeah, the, the wife. We don't see her after that, before like the end when she unveils the flower. I think it pretty much it. You know, so for the middle third of the film, we don't see her at all. We, we hear her voice those two times and that's like it. And that makes us miss her as well. And then the, the, the bit there at the end with her, oh, yeah, she's my angel, you can see she's got the... the and, and, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's really effective. Christopher Johnson, best character in the movie, and the, it's probably pretty obvious which relationship I was talking about as well as probably, the, or possibly at least the best. The relationship between him and his son is just really sweet. It's just, he's a kid, the, the kid is like, you know, he, he, you know, Candy gets thrown on the end and then he throws it back. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it, they hate humans, of course they do. They're, they're afraid of them. They know what the humans do. So, of course, the kid reacts like that. And Christopher, Christopher wouldn't have done that because he's older and more mature, but it makes sense that the kid does it and just yeah, the kid through and through, and the kid is like all excited. Oh yeah, we're gonna fly the plane. And you you put the fuel thing here, and Chris was like, you can't trust him. And because of that, Wakus is able to fly part of the way, and that's also part of why he, you know, that does happen with the whole thing. So yeah, and the yeah, just the the entire relationship between Christopher and his kid, I. If I talk about the whole thing, I'm just going to be mentioning every single scene, every single second of it. It's just, I love the entire relationship. Also, just so I don't mention a, every single joke, I, I love pretty much all of the jokes. If I had to mention, like, just one, probably when the Nigerian gang lord gets killed, you know, just the... And, this, yeah, that's great. After all his, you know, gang members get wasted. I like the bit about how they, they don't just say that Wickes is, you know, like armed and dangerous, and he escaped, and it's wrong, and so, you know, they make up this story about how he's had sex with the creatures, excuse me, and, you know. And, and call him contagious and say people have to stay away from him and all this stuff. And he can't even buy food. He has to steal to get by. And again, it, this is, that's what people, that this has actually happened. This has happened with actual human beings. And it's so effective in communicating that. And, and the, the way their rights get trampled all over when, you know, for the eviction, you know, 24 hours, and, yeah, the whole thing. And, and the thing with, you know, no, wait, he, he slapped the paper, that counts, you know. The, they, they can't even sign their names. And apparently even just slapping the paper is going to count as, you know, agreement. One of them doesn't even know what the word eviction means. I like the, I like that it had them speaking their different languages, Man, and like the the Afrikaans and the 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 alien language and all this stuff, and I I, th I think there's like yeah the and to be fact like some people have asked how can they so they they don't seem to speak each other's language they've been there for you know decades so after that time they could understand each other's language even if they can't speak it like. The, the human beings maybe can't do the clicks and such to make, yeah, to form the alien words, and the aliens might not have the muscles and such to make human words and the like. The sounds of our words and letters. But they know what each other's means enough that they can communicate, and yeah, that does basically happen in situations like that. I hmm. I really love how Christopher is 
I mean, yeah, I've already said that he's the best character, but he's just... He's the most likable, and he, he really goes through a change as well. At, you know, at first he is just thinking, I just, you know, I have to get away from here, and, you know, I'll, I'll help you immediately. But then when he sees that they're being experimented on, he puts his people first. And it makes sense, you know, just, just a day earlier. I mean, when Christopher first sees Wick is after the arm thing has happened, he's like, you again, no, get, get out. And you understand why. And, yeah, it, it really makes sense that he, he is just completely destroyed by the what he sees in there. And I also really like that Wick is when he's in there and they're making him like fire the alien weaponry, he actually, he doesn't want to shoot the alien. He's like, I'll get a, get a pig, I'll shoot a pig. I get, or, or maybe he'll use a pig as like, you know, a projectile with a mech later. And yeah, just the whole thing. And, and they just keep testing. And, and I think one of the things that really, it at least really gets to me, is when he, and you know, at first he's like, I'm, I'm not going to shoot, no, you can't make me shoot, and then they, you know, make him with the, yeah, the, the taser thing, and then the next time he says, okay, okay, I'll shoot, I'll shoot, and they still taser him, he said, I, I, I said I would shoot, and, and they just keep doing it, no matter how much, and it is just this Dr. Mengele kind of just completely objective science that, and I, I love that it doesn't, because I accept that there is, science can be negative when it's completely objective, when it's completely unethical, when all thought is, you know, when, when all the energy is put towards results, no matter what, then it is a horrible thing. And that's what we see in this movie. They're just, they're, they're testing his arm and they're testing his threshold of pain. They're seeing if he can feel pain when they, and, and, yeah, just the whole thing. They, they, you know, when they're afraid of, like, infection, they just put him in a bag. You know, he might suffocate in there, but, and, and they don't tell him what they're gonna do. They just do, they, they treat him like he is just not human, you know. And it also shows that very well, how when he starts to become the thing that they consider less than human, he is himself no longer human. And there's, of course, also the profit motive. I, I don't think I need to go too much into that. I, it feels pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, the, the and, and when they're standing over him and just talking about like like he's like he can't hear them, like he's like it's a dead thing. Well, we gotta harvest all the organs. This is the critical phase, gentlemen. If we don't do it now, it's gonna be too late and you know, it might not happen again, so just we gotta kill him right now, cut him open, get all his organs. And they're like, you know, I, I can't get the gas into it, but I'll cut for the heart. I'm sure he'll stop then. It's just horrible. And you, you, you know why they're doing it. It is this thing of they're just completely focused on we have to take advantage of this alien technology. We can finally fire their weapons, you know, this whole thing. Yeah. I think that more or less covers it. I was also quite impressed that they even fit in like the the myth of you know if you eat an enemy, you will gain their abilities, which is this primitive. N note that I do I don't use primitive as a negative term. It literally just means one of the earlier or one of the first. You know, primitive tribes just means that they're before us. They're, they're some of the first. I have great respect for primitive tribes. But yes, some primitive tribes did, and some still do, believe that if you eat your enemy, you will gain his or her abilities and powers. You know, be it an animal, a, you know, a ferocious animal, or a fellow hunter. The, if the best hunter has died, if, if you've killed a good hunter, if you eat his heart, maybe you will get his future prey, you know. And again, I don't judge this 
belief. That is what they, they, you know, they didn't have the scientific method, that's just what they believed. And, yeah, that actually made its way into this movie, and, yeah, of course, there, if there came aliens to Earth, there literally would be some tribes eating these, and, yeah, tr trying to get their powers through that. I think that pretty much covers it. I, I really like how the, the guy who's gonna, like, be after Wiccas ends up exposing them, you know, he's like, oh, they didn't even hide it very well, and then you see he's got the, he's got the orange, you know, the, the prison, yeah, he's in prison, dude's in prison, he's been, he's been captured because he gave away their secrets, and, yeah, they're, he, he tried to bring the company down, and that's, and, and, again, you, you, you see through there, and you also see at other points in the film, some of the human beings are good people, you know, the, the wife is clearly, I, I understand why he loves her. She really is a great a human being. You know, the, I don't know all the names, but some of his co-workers, you know, they were saying, like, he didn't deserve what happened to him. And all this stuff, and yeah, you just, it, it does show both sides. I, I will say the... The, the private military organization, they're kind of just shown to be sh straight up bad, but yeah, I, I think that the tendency is if you join a company like that, you know, they don't, there's not that much, like, there aren't that many consequences if you break, like, laws, it, a lot of it might not even get discovered. I think a lot of people who join those are actual, you know, psychopaths. I think if, if you want to serve, I think you join the actual military. You know, your own country's military, not just some private military organization. And... Yeah, I believe that covers it. Love this film. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.